Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Jazz record albums and their covers have always been highly collectible. The design of most of the early covers use a playful juxtaposition of text and a simple duotone photo of the jazz artist. I created this one and I'll show you how to recreate it in this tutorial. The size of this document is 12 by 12 inches with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Whatever photo you choose for your jazz cover, crop it into a square shape and position it to accommodate all the text that will be included. If your original photo was in color, desaturate it by pressing Ctrl or Command U and then slide the saturation to minus 100. If your original photo is already black and white, go to Image and make sure the mode is RGB or CMYK. Click on the Adjustment Layer icon and choose Color Balance. For this image, with the midtones checked, I'm going to slide the red to minus 19 and the blue all the way up to 100. To ensure your adjustment layer will only affect the one layer directly below it, click on the double circle icon. This immediately slid the adjustment layer to the right. Let's start adding our text. Click on the text icon and then click on the character box. This opens the text dialog windows. In the paragraphs tab, I'm choosing the flush left text. Click on the characters tab. I'm choosing a font called Bebas New and you can download it for free at defont.com. Click down on the image and type in your text. To change the size of your text, click on it and drag your cursor across to highlight it. I'm typing in a much larger point size since I want the name to be the largest word on the album. To reposition your text, call up your move tool, click on the word, and then just move your word into position. Press the letter T to call up your text tool and then type in your next word. To reposition this word, call back your move tool. Let's temporarily move it to an empty area and highlight it. I'll reduce the size of the font by typing in 142 points and to change the color I'll click on the color box. This will open the text color window. I'm going to type in 4E51F4. I'll get my pointer tool, click and move it into position. Then I'll call up my text tool, highlight it, and increase the point size. Call back my move tool again and then move it into position. I'll press T to get my text tool, type out my word, and highlight it. I'll type in a smaller point size and then click on the color box. For this word I'll type in the color 87A5FA. I'll get my move tool, click on the word and move it into position. If you want to rotate a word, press Ctrl or Command T to call up your transform tool. Click on a corner and when you see a curved double arrow you can drag it clockwise or counterclockwise to rotate it around its axis. If you press Shift as you're rotating it, it will snap into place at 90 degrees. Press Enter or Return to accept the transform, and then click on the word to move it into place. As before, click on T to get your type tool, type in the word, and then highlight it. Adjust the point size, and then click on the color box. I want to use the same color as Charles, so I'll click on one of the letters, and press OK. Using the same process, continue setting your text on your album cover. Remember to position each word so it juxtaposes with other words in an interesting and playful way. Choose your colors so they complement each other as well as the duotone photo itself. The last step in the design of our jazz album cover is to add the record label's logo. I already saved the logo in a folder, so I'll call up the logo, click on it, and drag it into our document. This is the logo for Impulse Records, which was one of the record companies that produced jazz albums. Clicking inside the logo will move it, and clicking on a corner will reduce its size. So here is our finished vintage jazz record album cover. Have fun designing your jazz album cover for a musical artist you know. He or she doesn't have to be a jazz musician to have an album cover have this look and feel. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.